my friend Rowan Ellis did a video about women and body hair recently, about like a month or so ago. Not so recently, but you know, honestly, I was planning to do this video for a while now and it just never really happened. But I thought I would do that now, especially since a commercial from a brand called Billy just launched a new commercial for their razors. Basically, it was the best commercial I've ever seen with razors. In this razor, they actually show a woman with body hair, with leg hair, and all of that. I mean, have you noticed that your mainstream commercials that you see on TV for like Venus and I don't know the names of all these other razor brands. Every time they show a, a woman, you know, shaving her leg or something, there's never any hair, which just defeats the purpose. It's like mascara commercials where they put on the mascara on fake eyelashes that are already so full, I'm sorry, on fake and obviously photoshopped, video shopped eyelashes. So you don't see how the mascara actually performs. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It's so ridiculous, right? But this commercial actually showed everything, which was so awesome. So first of all, I wanted to buy a razor from that brand just because of that commercial, because it was so great. But then I realized, why would, why would I want to waste my money on that? I haven't shaved for three years. I have not shaved since March 2015 and the only reason why, see I wasn't shaving before that for a while but then I shaved because I had a movie role and you know they were gonna get all upset so I, I shaved just to avoid any problems. Then I stopped. So yeah, I don't I don't shave my underarms. I don't shave my legs. I do remove hair from down there and I said it like that because I, I like the rhyming but I don't even actually shave. I trim usually after periods because dried up blood is gross. You know, in case there's some sexy times to happen, I just kind of like there to be nothing down there. That's my personal preference. So there's that. So somebody might be wondering, well, why don't you shave? That is so unhygienic and you're a woman and you should be shaving. To which my response is, I would like a five page essay on my desk by Monday morning uh, proving that. I'm um, proving that it is so unhygienic when men don't. <laughs> Basically the double standards, right, that make absolutely no sense to me. So, oh my god, no, it's fine when men don't shave or if men shave, oh my god, that's so gay. But then when a woman decides that she doesn't want to shave or when they don't want to shave, Trying to be as inclusive as possible here. They're like, oh no, that that that's just so gross. Even though they can have the same amount of hair or even less hair as the guy with the hair. I don't, I don't, I just, I just, I just, I don't get it. I personally, for myself, operative word is myself and personally. I never noticed a difference. I mean, I, I, okay, in the time that I haven't shaved in these past couple of years, I may have done it once for experimental reasons, for science just to see if there was a difference, you know, like putting on deodorant and noticing smells and, you know, sweat and whatnot. I pretty much had the same amount of sweat and whatever, whether or not I have hair. I just thought to myself, what is the point of spending money on razors and shaving cream when I could use that money on coffee, you know, coffee and Pokemon plushies that I could just use the money for that. And of course there are people that say men will never want to date you because you have all that hair. Well, I have been in two relationships. I am in my second relationship now and I've never had a problem in either relationship. Of course, yes, there are, there are many people who are not attracted to that both men and women who are not attracted to that type of thing, they would prefer a partner who is shaven. You, you are more than welcome to have your preferences, but that doesn't mean that I have to have, or anybody, it doesn't mean that anybody who chooses to not shave has to match those preferences. I mean, just separate and go find somebody else, you know? I plan to do an article on this, so if I have that written up, by the time this video goes up, I will link it down below in the description box and in the comments. So people will say, well, I like shaving because it makes me feel cleaner. I don't like the feeling of hair. I know there are people with sensory issues, like uh, fellow disabled people, but with sensory issues, so they 
they have to have the hair off. And like I'm, I'm, I'm saying right now, let me be clear that if you want to shave, whether you're a man, a woman, non-binary, whoever, if you want to shave, go shave. If you don't want to shave, don't shave. I, I completely understand that as a purple personal preference. The only thing I just never seem to, that just drives me bonkers, is when people are just so mad that another person is is not shaving. I mean, I guess my response to that would be one, you can buy all the supplies and you can do it for me because I don't I don't want to. It it fits no purpose in my life. But I also wouldn't trust you to do that for me because I'm afraid you probably nick me and that would not be fun at all. So never mind. That's fine. You don't you don't have to do any of that. <laughs> I'm just not gonna. It's fine. That's just me. I don't care what anybody else does with their body. You're more than welcome to do whatever the heck you want. You're more than welcome to express your thoughts about body hair and stuff down below in the comments. But after you do that, and before you go, if you haven't, consider being a pledge on Patreon because you might get some exclusive perks, some fun stuff like playlists and exclusive writing content that you won't see in the public and pen pal letters and maybe some other stuff, you know? Just, just take a look and I will see you later.